Hello guys, it's Luke Mead here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Google Search Console on your WordPress website. Let's get straight into it. So the easiest way to do this is head to the plugins area, and we're going to download a new plugin for your WordPress website. The plugin we're going to be looking for is one that's made by Google. So we're going to go add new, and if we just search Google, it will come up. Good thing about using this plugin is you know that it's trustworthy because it's Google, and here it is. It's called SiteKit. It's got over a million active installations, and it's compatible, so it's a good one to start with. We're going to install this, and this goes about setting us up with Analytics, Search Call, AdSense, and these other little functions as well. So it's a really powerful plugin to install on your website because it's going to add a lot of functionality to your website. So here we go, we're going to start the setup now of Google Site Kit. And here we are. We don't need to select this button, that's just going to give Google extra data. We do however have to sign in. So you choose to sign in with whatever a Google account you want your Search Console linked to. So in my case, I'll link it to this account here. And I'll go continue. And here we go. They're going to verify by uploading a HTML file to your site. What that means is they add a little file to the back end of your website, and that shows that Google, that you're the author and you own this website. So that's all fine. No one's going to see that HTML file. It's just a little sneaky way of verifying your website. So this is being verified. Google's uploading this file. Now we can allow this and we can add the site. Here we go, and it's done. Now we can go to the dashboard and have a look. So there's a few ways we can access the dashboard. This is gonna take us to the dashboard of SiteKit, and you can see we've connected Google Search Console, and we have the option to connect Analytics if we want. So how can we go and get Search Console? We can go that by simply going here and then finding our item and there it is and obviously there'll be nothing in here yet because we've only just added it but it takes about two or three days for Google to start adding stuff into here now Google Search Console is super powerful for SEO and if you're looking to increase your SEO this is one of the things you have to do once you've installed Google Search Console, the big things I recommend you do is add your sitemap. You can find that by often going into here, taking a URL, and going sitemap.xml. And this, there you go, and there's my sitemap. And this contains all the posts underneath this domain. So you can then take this link and insert that into here. The next thing I recommend you do is have a look at your security area and make sure that there's no issues detected. If you have issues detected on your Search Console for security, you're going to want to fix those because those are big errors that are going to make Google not trust your website. So use that. And then I recommend you have a look at your links. This is where you're going to grow your domain and get more authority. You want people linking to your domain. So in here, you can see who's linking to you and where they're coming from. This is really good because it means you can go and have a look and see if they're powerful links, if they're from good trustworthy websites, or if they're terrible links. And if they're terrible links, you might wanna try and remove them from your website because they might be devaluing your website. But you do wanna leave those trustworthy ones. So those are some quick Google Search Console tips as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.